Do you experience struggles in your mind? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Have you experienced struggles going on inside your mind? Many times when people are far from the good news, when they are lost in sin and do not want to listen to God's word, everything seems to be calm. Things go on, the friends think the same, and everything seems to be calm. But strange enough, when people start to walk with God, start to understand the good news, then things get more tight, tough. Struggles start inside the mind and also outside. Because as long as someone is far from the good news, the devil can sleep. He sees no need to come in action. But as soon as people believe, the devil will fight against it and become active and send all kinds of challenges, internal and external. People understand, start to understand that there are evil desires inside the human nature and that is additionally to fight against, additionally to the external topics. At the same time, it is also a comfort because it does not mean that we are condemned by any evil desires. But once we start to walk the path with the Lord and to believe in him, to understand that Christ has saved us, we also understand that we need to change. And then we feel the struggle between because there are all kinds of impulses and evil inclinations in our flesh. And where there is belief, there are hundreds of evil thoughts and hundreds of struggles and trials and challenges. Also, Paul writes it in Galatians 5, from verse 16, 17. What I say is this, let the Spirit direct your lives, and you will not satisfy the desires of the human nature. For what our human nature wants is opposed to what the Spirit wants. And what the Spirit wants is opposed to what our human nature wants. These two are enemies, and this means that you cannot do what you want to do. It means if we want to do the right thing, but our human nature goes against it. That is the struggle going on in our mind. Lord, we ask that you help us in these struggles. By ourselves, we cannot save us, but you already have won the victory. You are glorious. And you have won the victory over everything, over all death and sin and hell, and over all devils, over all evil forces, and also over our human nature, our, over all our evil desires. We pray that you change us. We ask for forgiveness for all that we do wrong, that we have done wrong, and for all that we will do wrong. We pray that you Change us and prepare us to fit in your kingdom, where we praise you forever. Amen.